I'm getting in help at the back of City Hall. It is on fire. Back of Fire Hall is on fire. If you could get me Hackensack or Pine River, one of the other departments to back me up, please. Well, that was radio traffic out of Bacchus, Minnesota, just before 6 p.m. Tuesday night. Cass County, Minnesota Sheriff uh, Tom Bursch is reporting the uh, drug bust in the city of Bacchus. Uh, quote, uh, on uh, February 1st, pursuant to an ongoing investigation into the use and sales of controlled substances, mainly meth, deputies conducted a search warrant on a residence in the city of Bacchus, Minnesota. A search of the residence was conducted and an amount of suspected uh, meth, pills, and other drug paraphernalia was seized. Cass County Sheriff's officials say an armed man was fatally shot by a deputy before another man was found dead in a nearby home. Sheriff Tom Birch said dispatchers received a report of an intruder at a home in Bacchus around 1.30 p.m. Sunday. Lord, we thank you for the, uh, the soldiers you've sent here, Lord. We just ask for your wisdom, your guidance as we begin this, uh, this battle in the streets for Bacchus. Lord, and we just want to pray to you the scripture that you have given us. And as we pray it, Lord, equip us with your armor. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you may be able to take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you've done everything to stand, stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take up the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, and pray in the spirit with all kinds of prayers and requests. Lord, so we just pray that uh, you would equip us in your armor and that you would prepare us and you would give us the discernment and the wisdom and the courage, Lord, to gain ground for your kingdom in our community. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, I'd like to thank you that these businesses are here, that they're available for the people to provide products and services to the town of Bacchus. Businesses can be the heart and soul of a community, and so we just pray that in this business, that the light of Jesus Christ would be in each of them. I'd like to pray you can give them the strength needed to break these curses that have been in their families for many generations, probably now, Lord. Cole, any hot spots? I think Hazel Street, kind of in general, like along the east side of Hazel Street, up and down. Yeah. We ask that they would be pardoned of the generational curses that they uh, may be living under, Lord, that uh, abuse and addiction and poverty, that those things be broken. And uh, I echo Cole's prayer for this next generation, Lord, for these children um, growing up in this community, that they would grow up with a new norm. We are the students of Foothills Christian Academy. What you have just seen is how Bacchus was before the Lord started his work. Our mission is to pray that God puts his mighty hand over Bacchus to break the strongholds of evil. We have been called by God to purify this town of its many accounts of abuse. Hebrews 6.10 says, God is not unjust. He will not forget your work and the love you have shown him as you have helped his people and continue to help them. 
Stay tuned for part two, when God is in the midst of his mighty work.